Do you see that shine already? Oh my god. Oh, that's like sort of like. Dang. When I ask my wrist, gotta check my bank on snap. You don't talk about man wanna pull a four rings on a boot gas bag. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. We're starting this vlog out real ghetto. Like it is the end of Wednesday. I have not really had a chance to record today. I went to the gym earlier. I was hanging out with my brother today, so I didn't, I didn't really record today. So yeah, I'm recording now because I'm making dinner. I just got out the shower, no makeup, nothing. God, tell me why I had a breakout. I had a breakout, one right here, one on my nose, and one on my chin, right down my face. So this is the scar. I don't, I don't know if you can see my nose because my nose is shiny, but I have a scar here, here, and there, cracking me up. Anyways, I'm making dinner. Let me show you guys. So I have some chicken. This is that chicken that I put in the oven that I forgot. <laughs> But having some chicken, I haven't had any yet, so we're gonna see today. But yeah, having some chicken, I'm gonna be putting some of this in there. This is only 20 calories for um, a tablespoon. I'm probably gonna do two tablespoons of this, four and a half ounces. Four ounces is a serving, but I'm gonna do a little bit more because I'm way behind on my protein today. And then right now, I'm just making this stir fry. I'm gonna do probably like a cup of this. This is what it looks like, but I can't eat this whole bag. That's a lot. Y'all, it just started storming out of nowhere, like really bad. You guys know how I am. Oh my God, it's lightning flashing. I'm so scared. I'm in here emptying the dishwasher and all I see is this bright flash of lightning. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my heart. I hate storms. I hate them. It goes Manny. <laughs> you don't like the storm either, do you Manny? You don't like this storm, do you? No. It's so bad. It's so bad, stinky boy. It's so bad, moo, 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 moo. I'm so scared. <laughs> Y'all, it's, it's Thursday. It's pouring. And I'm on my way to the gym. I mean, it's, it's pouring. I'm out here getting soaked. Wonder if I should have stayed in the bed, but it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So I'm trying to be out here being being dedicated. But oh my god, it's disgusting out here. Dunstan. I've been vexed all time, black dread, no cab, got a mate, fast cash, no lag. I, I can't beef anyone, go grind for bread, girl, show that shit, that's facts. You better listen to my voice and I'll hold out advice, some spit shit rams on tap. I don't care about shit when I ask my riz, gotta check my bank on snap. You don't talk about man when I pull a four rings on a boot gas pack, one man. I can't spot leaf when I'm on my own, hello women all fraud, but the man's still tap. I don't bum trap in the whip, I'm rich, this bitch putting hair in the bun, no prank. She getting that intro text for the die, no way, we skipping that line, no lag. Me, I'm upset, try to run up the hill, I'm a jog up till upset. You forgot those times when he bust out the N20P caught net, just making a mess. I could have done this and I could have done that. I just prove you wrong, gonna make a quick rap. Gonna go vacate, get a kickback, five star hotel with a sweet intact. When I ride low, I'm in the zone. Clear noise in studio mode. I just bit my story, word for word, can cancel or block my flow. I'm in the 518 dress code, no coat or hoodie, gonna make me broke. Past time host, still belly my phone, had a joy desk too, but I hear my tone. I've been vexed up time, black dread, no cab, got a mate, fast cash, no lag. I can't beef anyone, go grind for bread, gal, show that. Shit, that's facts. You better listen to my voice and I'll hold out advice. Some spit shit rams on tap. I don't care about shit when I ask my riz. Gotta check my bank on snap. You don't talk about man when I pull a four rings on a boot gas pack. What man? I can't spot leaf when I'm on my own. Hello, women all fraud, but the man's still tap. I don't bum trap in the whip. I'm rich. This bitch putting hair in the bun. No prank. She getting that intro text for the die. No way. We skipping that line. No lag. I'm in the S line hitting that 808. This bass gonna write your jaw. Don't give a fuck if you step in my way. I don't wanna hear your raps at all. Inconsequential. Mystic or rental. Bitch, I no, no clue if I call I'm ahead of time putting raps online Still know a few pussies wanna see me fall Planning the ends with polo rolling Jump off the plane at Terminal 3 I, I can't believe
I'll leave when I look and I see these Spotify streams coming straight from Let's peace. Go. Well, I say thank you. Look at the life that you've given to me. I'm just living a dream. In about a year, I was working in retail rather than loading these peas in my jeans. I've been vexed up town, black dread, no cab, got a mate, fast cash, no lag. I, I can't beef anyone, go grind. In this clip, I was saying that I forgot to record and I had did the leg press and now I'm doing the hip abduction and I'm a hot, sweaty mess and today is a tough workout day. Johnston. I've been vexed up time black dread no cab got a mate fast cash no lag I, I can't beef anyone go grind for bread gal show that shit that's facts you better listen to my voice and I'll holler advice some spit shit rams on time so I just got home from the gym I walked home in the rain didn't use my umbrella I didn't use my hood I just walked home. Um, at, the, at the end of my workout, I used like those little the hydro bed thing for like 20 minutes. I didn't realize how much I needed that. But like now I feel so, what's the word I'm looking for? Like light, sort of tired, you know, like relaxed. That's the wrong, I feel relaxed. I haven't felt this way in a long time. But I did that at the end of my workout. I'm glad I did because I feel like, oh, I could go to sleep and it's raining. It's not stormy like like last night with the lightning. I love when it just rains and you can hear the pitter patter of the rain, but there's no lightning or thunder. And I don't mind like low rumbling of thunder, but when it's like boom, I don't know. I don't like that. Today was leg day, and I wanted to do a leg day that would that consisted of me using like free weights and not using machines. So I have one day of the week where. I mostly just use machines for my leg day and today is the opposite of that. So I did a lot of free weight workouts just using my body strength, using my my, my muscles. And then I incorporated the leg press because I wanted to do that one, the seated one. And then there's the other one where you sit back and you press your legs forward like that. That'll be on my next leg day. And then I did that machine for your inner thighs because I want to work on that. I'm trying to battle loose skin. I know that's a big concern for a lot of people when it comes to weight loss. It's sort of hard to stop loose skin per se, depending on, but it also depends on genetics. It depends on how far you, how far going you are in pitting on weight. It depends on if you're strength training. It depends on your skin's elasticity. There's a lot of different factors when it comes to if you will or if you won't have loose skin. I was heavy for a lot of years. And then the problem that I had was I was losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight. So by the time I really started working out, for one thing, I didn't know anything about weightlifting. I just knew I had to do cardio, 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 cardio. So when I first started working out, not this time around, previously back like 10 years ago when I first started my weight loss journey, back then my my mindset was just cardio. So I did a lot of walking. Uh, then I joined the gym and started doing treadmills, ellipticals, and I started running. And I lost a lot of weight. And then I joined, what was it, bodybuilding.com. This is back in the day. And I learned about all the different weight training things. I'm like, oh, I didn't know about this. And so... Now, at that point, I knew I should have been weightlifting to help with the loose skin. It was already too late by then. So for me, and then over the years, I gained weight back, up and down, up and down, up and down. You guys know, for me, I struggle with eating. Like, I have an eating disorder. Let's just call it what it is. I love junk food. I love junk food. It's always been my comfort place. It's always been my go-to thing whenever I was stressed, whenever I was depressed, whenever I was getting made fun of. Um, whenever life was getting too hard, whenever I was scared, all my life since I was a little girl, I've, I've ran to junk food. It wasn't just me, it was me and my sisters. Like, we all, we ran to junk food. We have little parties in our bedroom together. Like, we would go to the corner store, get snacks, come home in the bedroom, shut the door, turn out the world, and just eat snacks. We we came up with a, in a really t uh, tumultuous household. My father was... Yeah, I don't want to get into that right now. I'm going to start crying. But, you know, it's just been a journey over the years of trying to battle this eating disorder. I even went and got counseling about it, you know? So 
It's taking a long, long time to get here. And it's so hard to battle an eating disorder and have depression at the same time. But yeah, I'm getting there now, thank God. But I still battle with loose skin. I'm going to have loose skin. I already see it. Like, like you can see it through my shirt, like under my arm. I have all this muscle coming in. But then at the bottom here, I have all this loose skin. So if you are worried about getting loose skin on your weight loss journey, start lifting weights. Don't just do cardio because you're going to be skinny fat. And you're going to be very disappointed in your results. Start lifting weight. I'm watching Manny. He's outside. We have coyotes. So I have to watch him when he goes to the bathroom. Sometimes he's out there forever even though it's raining. But yeah, if you're concerned about loose skin, lift weights. And as soon as you can, lift heavy. Like, don't start out heavy because you want to work your way up there. But yeah, it was a great day. Um, I started out with... I don't know what they're called. I, I call them like single leg dips where I have the weight in one hand and I'm balancing on one leg and I'm going down and going back up. It's so difficult. Your whole body will be shaking. I did that. I did the um, split squats. I haven't did those in forever because I hate them so much. I keep avoiding them. But if you want to get glutes like a big booty, you have to do them. And well, you don't have to, but you should, you know. So I did those today. I did it on a lower path platform and I was able to keep my balance a lot better than using that bench and then I did um what are those things called oh the step ups I did step ups I'm still working with those trying to get my form correct I was going to do the 35 pound weight today I said you're doing too much too soon mm -mm. stick with 20 stick with getting your form right and by the time I started doing my step ups my butt and my um my quads my thighs were burning so much I didn't stop there though. I, after I got done with the step up, so I did like four sets of 12 for each workout. After I got done with the step up, I had to go sit down for a minute because I was just so drained. I was already done for today and I was sweating and it was hot. I'm just like, I'm ready to go. But I made myself stay. I did, God, I did so many things. Help me, God. I thought I did the leg press, the thigh machine, and I did the cable kickbacks. I think that's it. Whatever I did do that I can remember is recorded for you guys. Oh, and then I went to the stair climber. I could only do, I was going to do five minutes. I pushed myself to six. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> but I was so tired by the time I got done with that. And then um, I didn't want to stop there because I'm trying to make sure I get my steps in. Because like I said, hot girl summer coming up. So I got on the treadmill and did 20 minutes on the treadmill. And then I did my massage and went home and walked home. So... Yeah, I don't know if, you know if I'm at my step goal for today, which is insane if I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm at 8,894. So almost there. I'll be there in a little while because I can never just sit down. Um, But yeah, I'm about to eat. I'm going to make me a quesadilla. I still got some of that Taco Tuesday meat. And then I have kale and cheese in my fiber wraps and guacamole. Girl, I'm going to eat. For breakfast, all I had was a yogurt, a Greek yogurt, and a granola bar. Like, I'm not... A granola protein bar. I didn't feel like cooking this morning. All right, let me go eat. I've been rambling for like eight and a half minutes now. And um, I'll check back in with you guys later. And I have one more thing. This is me. And I'm bloated. And this is like my first day of my period. She's starting to go down finally. Because normally she's like out here. I can't even describe it. But she's not looking too bad today. So first day of my period, you guys know I normally stay at home. I went to the gym and did a leg day. Leg day. Who's proud? I am. Okay, let me check back in. <laughs> I gotta eat. I can't eat it. I forget I'm gonna eat. Okay, I'm gonna eat one Manny, I ain't got no food. I promise you. I'm not eating nothing. All I got is coffee, Manny. Yes. No. <laughs> You're so greedy. Freezing in Westwood, we don't give up. Never a night dress for the two of us. Wish for my time and for good or bad luck. My car got locked in the parking garage. We took a new bar straight to you. I'm making dinner right now. I'm using this pasta. This is um, some chickpea pasta. High protein. High protein. So you get 20 grams of protein for 340 calories. 
or you can do half a serving, whatever you want to do. I'm going to be adding some of my chicken to that. I'm, I'm actually going to be cooking the pasta separate. Normally, I mix it all together. So I'm doing this separate. I'm going to be doing this separate so that each time I, I eat some, I know the appropriate portion size. And it's going to aggravate me because I love having my pasta mixed in with the sauce. But I'm going to have to make this separate, store it separately, and then just measure in the sauce every time I eat. But anyways, <laughs> I'm using this, this, and then some of that chicken that I showed you guys. And um, some kale. You can pick like tomatoes, onions, peppers, all that stuff in there. But I can only eat so much food. So I got to make sure I pretty much pick whatever amount of food I can towards protein. That's why I get my, my green juice because I can't eat all those vegetables and be full of all that water and try to eat protein on top of it. It's just it's not gonna work. Anyways, the um, the portion size of this is forty five calories, so you get one fourth cup. And of course, you can do whatever is in your macros for today. You know, this is what determination and dedication looks like. So, I have my chicken breast weighed out four ounces. That's my kill. I'm gonna add that when I get done. Um, normally, I pick garlic and parmesan in there, so I'm gonna add some of that when I get done. I'm gonna have to measure out my pasta still. I'm gonna be doing that right now. And I've already measured out my um, Alfredo sauce. So I did three and a half ounces of the pasta, which is 19 for the protein, and then four ounces of chicken. I think that's 22 grams of protein. Then I have my serving of sauce, which is one fourth cup, kale, a little bit of onion on top, and then a sprinkling of Parmesan. And that's dinner. So guys, for breakfast, this is what I'm having. This is some light Greek yogurt and a package of this maple almond oatmeal. This has 10 grams of protein. I think this one has 13 or 12. This one has 13. So that's 23 grams of protein here. I've never actually cooked this oatmeal and ate it that way. I will always just put it on top of my yogurt like granola. So I don't know how it tastes cooked, but I love it as granola. Um, I just got up. I don't feel like cooking. I'm gonna have to start meal prepping my breakfast. Like I can't avoid it at this point because it's getting to a point where I just want to get up, shower, get dressed, and go to the gym. I don't want to cook. I don't want to eat. And you have to eat. You cannot skip meals because if you skip meals, it's gonna end up making you overeat later on. So, yeah. But I'm gonna force myself to eat this, and then I'm gonna go shower and get ready to go to the gym. Okay, hey guys, it's Saturday. It is arm day. Um. Yesterday was rest day, so I, I didn't go to the gym yesterday, which was really hard. I was fighting. I really wanted to just go to the gym so bad, but you have to have recovery time for your body. Otherwise, your muscles aren't going to grow the way you want them to. So, like, I had to force myself to stay at home yesterday, which, whew, it's, it's, it's crazy. I never thought I would be this person that just has to go to the gym, but I have to go to the gym. I just, I love it so much. But yeah, yesterday was rest day. Um, so today we're going to do arms. What was I fit to tell you guys? Oh, so this week has been crazy. Like, looking in the mirror, I might get to a point where I don't recognize myself in a good way. Because previously, when I looked in the mirror, I was seeing the person that I was when I started my journey. And I've been trying to really work really hard on this whole body dysmorphia thing. Like, really just stare at myself and see what's in the mirror. Try on different clothes, see how they fit. Like, this hoodie, for instance, this hoodie used to be fitted fitted now it's it's big like it's big it's loose like, it used to be tight on me so it's just like trying to be aware of these things and just rock with them and just like like I said really look at myself really look at myself before it, it, it's really really helpful that I have old videos of myself because I'm able to go back to my old videos and be like oh I don't have that role anymore or my waist isn't as wide anymore or my arms are slimming down you know it's good to have those references. So if you are on your journey, take videos, take pictures, take measurements, everything, because you're going to need them in the future. One of my subscribers, she sent me an article because she was saying that she also deals with body dysmorphia. And it, I think it's a whole lot more common than we think it is because, like, everybody doesn't talk about it. Everybody doesn't even realize they're dealing with it because how would you know? I think it's something that does seem to be talked about more, um, work more, more. Definitely communicate your feelings with other people. Also, too, I have to go ship out all these packages. Thank you guys for um, shopping my closet sale. There's still items up. Might not be by the time I post this video. 
I did post a post on my feed though, so that you guys know there's a sale going on, but I got a lot of stuff that I go carry those to the mailbox on the way to the gym. Um, but yeah, I'm grateful for everybody who shot myself because you guys helped keep the lights on in this house. So thank you so much. But yeah. Oh, this is what I'm wearing. Hopefully you guys can see me. Nothing major. I just have on a sports bra. I just have on a black sports bra. Uh, leggings. My leggings are from Fashion Nova. This was, was part of a Shein set. Uh, I have on this hoodie I got a long time ago. I don't remember where I got it from. I got it years ago. And then some, uh, just some black and white shoes. But yeah, oh my thighs, they still hurt, you guys, from, what's today? Today is Saturday. So, Thursday. They still hurt from Thursday's workout, which I showed you guys in this video. I worked my butt off that day. But my thighs are still hurting in my, my booty. My booty, she's trying, she trying to come in, you guys. She's trying to come in. I, I have a pose. What do them girls be doing in those videos on TikTok? They be like doing all this. I'm like, why do you be doing all that? Y'all doing too much. I want you to stand up straight. Let me see how your boot growth is looking naturally. Let me do all these little twists and turns. Anyways, let me get going. I love you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna film today. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing free weights today because normally I do the machines. So maybe I do like the free weights. Maybe I incorporate like two or three free weights because I want to work on my shoulders because they're so freaking weak. But there's machines that do that too. Girl, I don't know. I'll see if I get to the gym. I'll check in later. protein stuff so I got some yogurt um, actually let me show you I didn't get much uh, I got some of this from Aldi's because I'm running out of yogurt I got some more of the protein bars because I'm running out I need to go to a store so I can get like a lot of stuff but I was walking so I only got what I could carry these are actually really good they're, like I said they're not as good as the cookie dough one but I actually really did enjoy these and I'm glad I have them now so I went and got some more I went and got I was going to do some protein shakes, and uh, the Fair Life protein shakes have been recalled. I found this out on TikTok. I didn't even know. But they recalled them because, like, they were saying, the people that were consuming them were saying that they had a cinnamon clove taste. Some people were saying it's a chemical taste. So, apparently, they got recalled. So, I just got some chocolate milk. This is 13 grams of protein. It's like 160 calories, though. Like, the, the Fair Life shakes... 150 calories, 30 grams of protein. Amazing. This is 140 and you get 13 grams of protein, which is not bad. I need some protein powder. I was looking at protein powders at Target and I got so overwhelmed. I got so overwhelmed. I just left. I just left. They started carrying the Ghost brand of protein powder, which I didn't even know they had protein powder until recently when I went on their website. But all they had left was Chips Ahoy and I'm like... I'd rather have something like peanut butter chocolatey because I like peanut butter chocolate. So hopefully they'll restock because the peanut butter chocolate one was out of stock. But yeah, I need to get some protein powder if I can't get my shakes. So I gotta figure that out. Um, but I got so overwhelmed. I was overstimulated. I said, it's too many options. They, they had a Fruity Pebble one by a different brand. And I, I, like, I like Fruity Pebbles, the taste of it. 
So I said, that might be good. But I was like, I might get bored with that over time or I might get overwhelmed with that over time. So I don't know if I want to commit to that. I can commit to chocolate. I can commit to chocolate. But I don't know if I can commit to um, Fruity Pebbles every day for a protein shake. I don't know. But I finally remember to get some sparkling water. Let me show you why. Hold a minute. So I got some of these like zero sugar packs you pour in your water, you know. I said, this probably be really good with some sparkling water. Hopefully, I don't know we're going to see. But like by themselves, they're really sweet. But I miss that carbonation taste when I put it in the water. So I'm like, I'm going to try it today. We're going to see. But I'm hoping it's really good. I have... Hold on a minute. I can't recall if I ever showed you guys these in a, in a video before. But um, I have different kinds. I have the crystal light one. I love the starburst ones. I love them, love them, love them. I have this one, the cherry good. Pink is my favorite. And then... And then the blue, the blue raspberry, I drank all of the blue raspberries, so I don't have any more to show you guys. But I love these. You can get them at, like, Walmart, Dollar Tree. And if you have problems with drinking water, put a little bit in your water, good to go. I, I don't have problems with drinking water, you know. I love it. I drink it all the time. But everybody's not like that. But sometimes I just need something sweet. So, like, this and some water, some ice water. So good, so good. But I don't drink them all the time because they got that fake sugar in it. Everything's bad for you, apparently. You can't have nothing. You can't have regular pop, and you can't have fake pop. You know what I'm saying? But I'm putting some eggs on a fiber wrap with some turkey pepperoni and kale and all that good stuff. So I'll show you guys when I get done. But I'm about to eat because I'm starving. I'll check back in when I get done. Yeah, I had to check in. This milk is so good. I poured eight ounces in here over some ice. Like, I hate the fact... That Fair Life protein shakes are messed up. Because I stick by Fair Life. I love their milk. And I'm not a big milk person. Especially since I have my surgery on my stomach. But, girl, I would I will chug this thing down. I'm, I'm not going to do that. But, I got to savor it. It's so sweet and thick and creamy and rich. This is not sponsored. But, Fair Life, reach out to a sister. Send me some protein shakes. But, girl. Good. Ultra filtered. It's delicious. Go get it. I'm making a freaking mess. <laughs> oh, God. Help me. There we go. Okay guys, so I got my food done. It's like 4.30, 5 o'clock. I'm tired. <laughs> I had such a good workout. Like, I worked my butt off today. I did all my regular workouts to my arms. Then I remember that I was supposed to do free weights. So then I went to go do some free weights. Yeah, I'm tired. But yeah, I got my food done. I'm gonna go eat this. Um, it's just eggs, cheese, turkey pepperoni. I had a little bit of chicken left over, so I put that in there. It's like an ounce of chicken. And then um, that fiber wrap for my fiber. Because like I said, get your fiber, you guys. And then I put some um, sriracha on top. And then Manny's over there eating his food. So, yeah, I'm going to go eat. I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Guys, I'm just checking in. I just got out the shower. Hopefully, I look okay. Like, sometimes the camera just be distorting my face and my skin. It be driving me crazy when I go to go edit these videos. I'm gonna put on some, um, some... God, what is this called? A toner. God, my brain be farting. I just, this is from The Ordinary. I don't put toner on every day. I just do it every once in a while. After having that breakout like that, oh my god, I had one. I told you guys in the beginning, I had one right here, one right here, and one right here. This one just came up the other day. But um, when I have a breakout, I really go deep into my skincare routine because I got to clear up whatever is underneath the surface that's causing my skin to break out. Normally, while I'm in the shower, I like squirt that the scrub in my hands. I don't scrub every day. I scrub like maybe two three times a week you, you don't want to exfoliate your skin too much but i just use like the saint ive scrub I've, I've been using that since i was like 16 years old and it's cleared my skin up people are like don't use that saint ives the the crisp the um little crystals are too harsh they're gonna break your skin or whatever if you just gently 
massage your skin, you're not gonna have any problems. I used to have really, really bad skin, like black, black, black. I wanna show you guys a picture. I found a picture, but I look so god awful. And the picture I found was when I was in ninth grade and I looked so horrible. And to think I was going to high school looking like that, guys, I was going through it. But I want to share that picture with you guys. But also, I'm like, I don't know how anybody to see that picture. But my skin used to be so horrible. I'm my black, black all around my hair. Oh, I got the cotton on me. But black all around my hairline. Not at the cotton on my face. But I used to have black, black, black. It was just black everywhere. Just, ooh. But I don't do the same thing every day. Now I'm using this one. Alternate between this. I'll do this one today, this one tomorrow. I keep going back and forth and switch them up. Because my skin, once it gets used to a product, it is just, it's over for that product. So right now, this is my current obsession, which is just Pons. This is a drugstore. You guys, I've used high-end, expensive stuff. A lot of stuff gets sent to me from brands, Lancome, Clarence. Oh, I love Clarence, though. I love Clarence. Um, but I use Elemis. I've used a lot of different products. Sometimes I do a serum. Sometimes I don't. It all just depends on how I feel for that day. Right now, I'm just putting on an eye cream. This is pharmacy called Cheer Up. That was called Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream with some kind of cherry. Girl, I can't even pronounce it, but it looks like this. I've been going through this thing. I love it because it's so hydrating. You're gonna you're gonna see like it's unpacking it in. It just makes my skin just shine. I don't know what they put in this stuff, but I love like when I get done with my skincare routine, I want my skin to be glowing. Like, girl, did you just come out of a pot of grease? You know, <laughs> but not greasy, just that shine. You know, like her skin looks healthy. So I like to put my products on. I I put this there. I put a little bit on my little lines. Guys, I want to get Botox so bad. Mostly right here. Because I do this a lot. I'm like, what? You know, like, so I see them lines coming in. Oh, my God. I've been wanting to get Botox so bad, but I'm scared of Botox. Ooh. I'm always dropping stuff. I'll get that in a second. Let me rub this in. But I'm sure you guys can see like, see, like, the glow. Oh, my God. And it's not greasy. It's just, I can't describe it. I, I just love this stuff so freaking much. I don't even know. If they even still sell this. I can't remember. I think I got it in my BoxyCharm box or something like that. See, so anyway, I have that on. I'm going to take some of my Pond's cream. So sometimes I put on a serum. And if, if I'm doing a serum, I put that on first. Then I do my eye cream. And then I do my moisturizer. But today I'm not doing a serum. Because I just got the... Putting on that wonderful eye cream. Do you see that shine already? Oh my God. I love walking around the house with my skin glowing like this. I can't even describe it. And if you're like me, like a lot of African American women deal with this, but they get like darkness around their mouth. Exfoliate. Moisturize. Exfoliate. Moisturize. That is your best friend. And it will help keep it under control. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. And even when it goes away, you still want to make sure you keep up that routine. Maybe not as aggressively, but you definitely want to keep up that routine. Oh, and then put this on your neck too, the ponds. I put it on my chest as well. Oh, skin is just glowing. I love it. Like guys, this has artificial sweeteners in there and you can taste them, but this is hidden. This is hidden. So you can either get this, you can get yourself a diet pop, however you want to do it, but this is nice. Oh, that's like sort of like, dang.
since I got home from the gym, I just realized that. I came home super tired. Did I eat anything? Oh, I had some chicken tenders. <laughs> and then now I'm eating dinner. My mom cooked food. So I have, I don't, I'm not gonna be able to eat all this. I already know. But um, I have chicken, spaghetti, and then a piece, well, half a piece of bread. And this is all I'm gonna eat today because I'm done. I think I'm gonna go to bed early because I'm just, I took a nap. I don't nap, you guys. I don't nap. I took a nap because I just been getting so little sleep this week. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Probably putts around for a little while. I gotta find out what I'm wearing to the gym tomorrow because I have no idea. And then um, I have to come call it a night because I'm I'm tired. So that I haven't had real bread in so long. I forgot how good it was and real butter. Girl, it was real. That was real bread, real butter and garlic. I forgot how good it was, but that's just for this meal. Um, I'm done eating. I still have a lot of food left. I ate the bread. Is that a stain on my shirt? Or is that a shadow? What is that? So I still got some spaghetti and chicken left, but I'm stuffed. So I'm not even going to worry about that tonight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go pick out my gym clothes. But yeah, that bread, oh my God. Delicious, delicious. So guys, I'm going through my clothes trying to find something to wear to the gym tomorrow. And I found this in the back of my closet. I've had this for years. I have not been able to fit it for years. I'm talking about seven, eight. I, don't, I can't even remember. It's like a very, very like Barbie pink color. And then it has a little thumb thing. You guys know I love these on my shirts. But I've had it for years. It has not been able to fit. I just tried it on. And look at her. She's fitting. Oh, another thing. So a brand we reached out to me that I worked with before. Um, it's been a couple months since I worked with them. And I had to send them my measurements because they need to know what size I wear. And my waist is, it was, God, I forgot already. It was 42. Now it's 37 inches. I didn't even know my waist had gotten smaller. Like I noticed the last couple of days I've been putting my stuff on that it's been looking a little bit more sunken in. I've been working on my waist a little bit more at the gym. But, baby, I had no idea that I was down that many inches on my waist. I'm like, hey. So, I'm like, it's the small things that are important, but they're making changes. I'm like, oh, two great little um, non-scale victories is what they're called. But, yeah, two little non-scale victories. My voice sounds so deep. I'm so tired, y'all know. Y'all know. I tell y'all this every week. I think my iron is low because I, I know I've been eating a lot of ice. I'm going to go see if I have some iron pills. I pray I got some from my last prescription. But, yeah, non-scale victory. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I still gotta find something to wear tomorrow. So let me go back into this mess that I'm creating. And yeah, bye. So guys, I've been looking for this shirt for forever. Um, I couldn't find it. I forgot I put it away with my summer stuff. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing to the gym today. Just have one of these leggings. These are part of, part of a matching set. But I'm not wearing the top today. Today is back day. Uh, this is what we're wearing today. Got my hat on backwards. 
So guys, I didn't record today at the gym, but this is just proof that I was there. <laughs> hey guys, it is Tuesday. I'm on the way to the gym. Today is like a rest day, so I'm just going to do cardio to get my steps in. So I'm going to be doing like the stair climber and the treadmill. I don't do like the elliptical or anything. Like, I hate the elliptical. But anyways, I'm going to go to the gym. I feel like I haven't got a lot of footage this week, which I don't know if it's good or bad. I just haven't really been filming as much. I've been so busy. So it's, it's just been a busy week. Even today when I get them at the gym, I'm freaking busy. I gotta um, edit this vlog, of course. Then I gotta get some other things done for some other content that these brands want. And I'm just, I feel sort of overwhelmed because I, I gotta do everything myself. You know, I gotta do the lighting, the camera, makeup, hair, editing, answering questions, um, filling out description bars, stuff like that. So it's a lot of work. I have my side hustles and I'm trying to do TikTok, which is sort of hard. And then I'm like, should I even do TikTok anymore? Because with this government ban, is that even still happening? I don't know. But I just feel like I haven't got a lot of footage this week, so I'm sorry. But today's just cardio at the gym. Yesterday was, yesterday was back day. Back day turns into glute day, turns into ab day. I don't know what happened. I was just doing everything yesterday. I said, I'm gonna make a schedule for myself with doing certain body parts. Then I was doing that and somehow I got off plan with that. So I had to get back on that plan. So like I told you guys, I do glutes three times a week. So I have like a pretty much a leg day three times a week. So I had to get back on that track and then stay to doing arms and shoulders and abs and back. You know, I, I got to stay on that track. So hopefully this upcoming week, I'll be able to do that. I just love going to the gym now. You guys, it's so crazy. I, I don't know. It just feels incomplete if I don't go. Yesterday I was there, I think for like four, three, 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 three and a half to four hours, which is crazy. But um, I just love going. It's so therapeutic to me. Like I feel better now that I think I did when I was getting therapy. Make that make sense. So I'm wearing some new contacts today. They're the same family of contacts, just a different color. My camera looks so grainy. I cannot, I cannot wish I can get a vlog camera because this camera, it be taking me through some stuff. But yeah, I'm wearing some new contacts today. So yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I mean, let me see if I can show you right now. I'm just wearing these leggings. Oh my God, they're so scandalous. I gotta put my shirt down. Um, but I'm wearing a long hoodie, so when I pull it down, you can't see anything. But yeah, I'm wearing these leggings. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get going. I'll check in with you guys later. I'm sweating. Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm trying to hit 15 minutes. Oh, God help me. That's it, 15 minutes, I'm dying. Hey guys, I'm home from the gym. Before I ended my vlog, there was something I wanted to talk to you guys about that had been on my mind, and I totally forgot about it. Anyways, but in my last week's vlog, some of you were leaving comments about how you wish you were at a certain point, or how you know this person and they're there, and how this person's lifting this much weight, and how you wish you were at, you know, the journey takes time. I've been trying to get to this point since back in 2010, back when I was going to the gym like twice a day, um, where I was finally near my goal weight. I, I got to 204 pounds. My goal weight was like 200 pounds. I got all the way to 204 pounds and messed everything up. You know, I dropped the ball. And I've been trying to get back there since then. And it's been years of trial and error, years of fad diets, like, um, Atkins and keto. You guys remember I was on keto? I would never do that again. But years of fad diets, years of gaining the weight, losing the weight. Hold on a minute, I'm back. I had to go get my food. I was hungry, I just made some random stuff. It's just like eggs and um, ground beef and a fiber wrap and I just toasted it. I'm gonna eat it with some salsa. This stuff is so bomb. This is from Aldi's. It's like the four pepper salsa. I love this. Anyways, let that cool down for a second because it's hot. But what I was saying is it took me years to get here. And I mean, years of fat dieting, misinformation, um, years of starving myself because I didn't want to gain weight. 
I'm skipping meals, just making really bad decisions because I wasn't educated on what I should be doing. So don't compare yourself to me to say, oh, she's there now and I want to be there because years of me wanting those fast results was costing me everything and it just ruined my relationship with food even more so than it already was. So take your time. What helped me, my hands are so ashy, I keep washing my hands. Um, I have like ADHD, I think, but we don't go there. But <laughs> what helped me this time around and what has been helping me stick to it all these months has been taking it slow. If you guys go back to my last vlogs from the middle to the end of last year, I was telling you guys, I'm taking it slow. I'm gonna slowly start changing my eating habits. I'm gonna start walking. I'm gonna start making myself go to the gym even though I don't wanna be there. I'm not gonna to try to go every day, make maybe two or three times a week. I took it slow, especially when it comes to your eating habits. Take it slow, whether it's changing out um, high carb things for vegetables or fruits. Like, Take it slow and be patient with yourself. This is not gonna be overnight. It's not even right now, as much as I'm finally Within the last few weeks, it's starting to see the changes in my body. Um, I'm not where I want to be yet, you know, and it's been months of me going to the gym. It's not an immediate thing, but me going and me building up this discipline, self-control, a routine and a habit is helping me get to where I've been trying to get to all these years. Guys, I could literally, I'm not going to cry. Mm -mm. No. But I could cry because I've been wanting to get back to that girl for so long, guys. Over a decade, I've been trying to get back to her. And it took me forever to even get to her. And I gave up everything. And I'm so mad. And this time around, I don't want to do that. Like, this is the closest to her that I've been in a very, very, very long time. And my goal is to be consistent with that. But by being patient and continuing to make those small changes to get to that point, so I'm not there yet, but honey, I I haven't been here where I'm at right now in a, a long, long time. So what I'm doing now is just trying to celebrate where I'm at, where I'm at now, show myself loving kindness, be patient, continue with my calorie tracking, continue with those things that have helped me be successful so far. But don't rush it. Don't rush it. Don't expect overnight results. Just expect to be consistent and expect to eventually you're gonna get there. And I know that's not what you wanna hear. I know it's not what you wanna hear. I don't wanna hear it. But eventually you will get there if you are patient and consistent and you show yourself loving kindness. So just keep making those little small changes. The little things add up to big things. In case you wanna know what I did today, like I said, today was cardio. So I did about 20 minutes on the stair climber. I was at 15. No, it was 20, it was 20. No, no, it was 15. Well, it was either 15 or 20, I can't remember. But either way, no, I think it was 20. But um, I was exhausted. I told you guys I'm trying to build my stamina back up on the stir climber because I haven't been doing it in a long time. But I did that and I did 40 minutes on the um, treadmill and then I went and got like so many massages in the back on that hydro bed and the massage chair. Uh, so now I'm just gonna relax because tomorrow is leg day. It doesn't have to be. If I wanted to, I could take tomorrow off, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna go tomorrow too. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next week's vlog. I love you so much, guys. Thanks for being here on this journey with me. I'm praying that I'm helping you guys in some way. I mean, in some way, because I needed such encouragement, such a boost, and I needed somebody to understand my struggle as I was going through it all those years. So I'm hoping to God that in some way these videos are inspiring you guys. Okay, now I'm gonna see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye.